everyone welcome back again to an interesting video so today we are going to see the top 10 bioscientists in the world in 2022 so if you want to know more about the research highlights and the current themes of all these scientists so just stay tuned to this video till the last as we are going to discuss the current area of research for all these different bioscientists and the criteria that I have chosen here for categorizing all top 10 scientists is the H index. Now, what do you understand by H index? H index is just a measure or metric to know about the citations of that particular publication of an individual scientist. So according to the H index, I have categorized all these bioscientists and I have ranked them from first, top first to top 10. So let's start our video and explore everything about these scientists. So the very first scientist that you can see here that is Walter C. Willett and you can see him he is the one that is having the highest H index. He is currently working in Harvard University that is United States and it highlights of current research means he is engaged in research that is internal medicine. He is working for prospective cohort study and also he is working for hazard ratio and you can see the H index that is the highest of all that is 389. Coming to the next scientist that is Eric C. Lander and if you want to see he is the one who is at the second position according to the H index and right now he is working at office of sciences and technology policy that is at United States and if you see the highlights of current research so that are many or uh, you can see fields that he is working on that is structural variation RNA enhances transcription factors and regulation of gene expression also he is working for gene and drug delivery so if you wanted to work in this field so you can just apply for a job at united states and you can work under him so if you are getting that opportunity that will be really good for you as you can see the h index for him that is 376 that's why he is at second position coming to the third scientist that you can see who's at the top position he is Meyer J. Stamper and if you want to see him you can see he's the one who is at the third position now let's see where he's working so right now he's working at Harvard University in US and the highlights of current research he's dealing with epidemiology also gastroenterology he's working specifically in lung cancer pancreatic cancer also he's working for diabetes mellitus demography and weight loss and also obesity so if you have any interest in all of these areas, so you can apply there for your PhD or any research work. And you can see the H index that is 330. So accordingly, he is ranked at third position. Coming to the fourth bioscientist in the world, that is Robert Langer. And you can see he is the one who is Robert Langer. So let's see he is working at MIT US that is United States and also he is working for the research area that is nanotechnology you can see again this is an emerging field also he is working for drug delivery tissue engineering again is one of the advanced field polymer and biomedical engineering so mainly he is focusing on biomedical engineering and this is his current area of research right so and the H index you can see that is 316 coming to the fifth scientist bioscientist in the world that is according to 2022 ranking and he is graham a colditz and if you want to see him you can see he is the one now let's see where he is working so he is right now working in uh, you can say us that is washington university in st louis that is in us and if you see the highlights of current research so he is focusing on cancer biology and that is breast cancer he is working specifically on breast cancer and research he is working for oncology that is combined you can say a general cancer biology topic also he is working on body marks index that is bmi and also he is conducting research that is related to myocardial infarction so he is working in all these different areas and you can see the h index that is there that is 315 and that is why he is ranked at fifth position coming to the sixth bioscientist of the world who is guido creamer and if you want to see the highlights where he's working right now, Sorbonne University that is in France. And also you can see the current research that he's dealing with. That is, you can see 
uh, extraordinary research that I personally like that is cell biology, program cell that apoptosis, autophagy and mitochondria. So this research is somewhat related to you can say your life sciences and biotechnology field. So if you have any you can say interest to work in all these fields so you can just contact him you can write a mail to him and also you can apply for a job so just you have to check for the job openings if any openings is there so you can apply for a job and you can see the h index that is 300 for you coming to the seventh bioscientist that is about shiju akira so he he you can see he's the one so he, he is at seventh position and right now he is working at Japan that is Osaka University Japan and you can see he is working mainly with immunology and you can see that research particularly. So his current area of research is cell biology, immunology, innate immune system again that is a part of immunology, signal transduction and receptor acquired immune system specifically and tall like receptor that is a part of innate immunity myeloid differentiation factor that is mid 88 so he is working on all these different you can say research area or field and you can see the h index is 293 so he is at the seventh position now let's see for the eighth bioscientist who is zhong lin wang and if you want to see him you can see he is the one so that you can contact in future and if you want to know the working place right now where he is working, so he is working at Yale University in US and the highlights of current research you can see that is inflammation, innate immune system, inflammasome, antigen and IL-2 receptor. So you can see he is mainly uh, focused on uh, you can say immunology. So all these are immunological aspects like inflammation, inflammasome and also innate immune system as well as interleukins that is that comes under immunology right and you can see the H index that is measure that is 283. So he is about the you can say who is working on immunology and he is at the eighth position. So now let's see about the ninth bioscientist of the world who is Bert Wolgestein. If you want to see the image of him you can see he's the one who is at the ninth position. Now let's see right now where he is working. So right now he is working at John Hopkins University that is JHU in US and the highlights of his current research is immunology again. He is basically dealing with point mutation tumor suppressor genes that is associated with cancer. And if you want to know the specific area of research like he is dealing with what kind of cancer. So you can see he is dealing with colorectal cancer and also he is working for APC that is adenomatous polyopsis coli and you can see the H index that is 280 for him. Now coming to the last and the top 10 bioscientists of the world that is in 2022 and she is Mark J. Daly and you can see she is the one. So if you want to apply for a research under her so you can apply you can write a mail a letter to her and if you have any kind of interest in the research work that she does that is genetics genome wide association studies means she is engaged with GWAS genetic association single nucleotide polymorphism as well as linkage disequilibrium so she is basically dealing with all genetics things so if you have any interest in genomics or you can say genetics GWAS so you can enroll yourself for a PhD or for a research position under her and you can see she is right now engaged at University of Helsinki that is in Finland and you can see the H index that is 267 for her. So this is all about the top 10 bioscientists of the world that is in 2022 and how we have categorized and how we have seen all these bioscientists that is according to the H index that is a measure to know the productivity and the citations of the publication of an individual scientist and accordingly I have mentioned them and ranked them from top 1 to top 10 rank. So if you have any query you can just write down your things your doubts in the comments below. So I hope the video was interesting or you can say helpful beneficial for all of you because you are seeing the research interest of the top bioscientists in the world so that will be really helpful for you so if you want to apply for a research position under them so you can just write a mail you can see for the job openings you can just visit the website of the university that i have shown here i have listed here so accordingly you can just search for the job openings so this is all about the video so thank you everyone for your time and patience meet you in the next video till next time this is a host Ria from Biotechnica. Thank you everyone. Keep learning.